Hello everyone, this is Andre from Galileo Sky. Variables are a very important part in any programming. These are values of different parameters that you can read, compare and change. In EasyLogic there are two types of parameters, existing ones and the ones that you can create. In this video we will take a closer look at the variables that are already included in the tracker. We already used a variable in our previous video when we selected input 0 value for our condition. All variables are divided on several groups, which you can see in the left part of the variables window. Input 0, as well as other inputs, is stored in the analog inputs group. Navigation unit data, for example latitude, longitude, speed and accelerations, are stored in the navigation group. All can tags are stored in the can group. Variables that indicate general tracker state, like external voltage or internal battery charge, current time or days of the week, as well as device status, are stored in the general group. Each variable has a brief description and may contain its data format. For example, the time parameter contains number of seconds passed since midnight according to GMT, while the power variable shows external voltage in millivolts. With the help of EasyLogic we can read data from existing variables and use it further in our algorithms, but we cannot change them. For example, we cannot set random speed value for the tracker. The device updates these parameters by itself and will not allow its custom modification. Existing variables are a very important part of creating algorithms. We will learn more variables in our further projects. Follow this link to know how to create your own custom variables.